Do you know those aisles of colorful paint chips align beautifully in big box stores? Where you stand there in front of thousands of colors and you have to choose just one color for that one project you are trying to complete? But your eyes wander over all the paint chips taking in their glorious harmony and for a brief moment you want to take home each color in a small two ounce jar just to test them? Yeah, I fall victim to that mind game also. My senses come alive standing in those aisles and taking in color after color, row after row. Some colors are your sturdy classics. They will be standing there until the end of time, while others are surprises in a square. I pick up the chip and think to myself, I have to take this chip home. It might be just the color I need for that future project, I tell myself. Others I swipe because they spoke to me. Something within responds to this color and I want to cherish it. That is quite simply how I ended up with all these paint chips. Moments of time paying homage to that color and wanting to relive those moments. I do this all while respecting why these paint chips are there. Never taking the last one and never taking too many at one visit. With a recent studio clean out, I began to gather them in one place. All these colors to one location. A box where they collected and I began to notice a few things about this unique patchwork of colors. First, greens and blues. I probably have the most of those colors. Off-whites, tans, and browns had a good run for a while. Then that time a few years ago when yellow fast-tracked to the top of my favorite color list and I gathered lots of bright and subdued yellows. I could not escape the evidence of all this beauty I collected and now wanted to share. Another fascination I found through this collection are the names of these paint chips. I always thought what a beautiful burden naming a color would be. Names like Dandelion Wish and Antiquity Recycled glass and lovely love song. How could I not cherish that color for its namesake? But like with everything, there comes a time to change, to pivot, and to get on with my creative expression. To stop the collecting, the gathering, and use them. Swatches of color ready to be marked on, cut up, and created into something more. Doodles, the center of a card, or just for the sake of mark making. Whether with paint, colored pencils, ink pens, regular pencils, markers, or simply cutting out abstract shapes. These are my ideas coming to life in these colors. I consider this time groundwork for other projects, ideas, and drawings. Studies of color relationships, the effects of layering color on color, and how my own marks look and feel within their small space. Once these are created, I will glue them into a sketchbook and continue on my path, knowing I celebrated and still cherish the color. But even more than that, I used it and I became intertwined with the color itself. So next time you find yourself in those aisles staring at row upon row of color after color, maybe grab a chip or even a two ounce jar, just one though and allow the color to excite you with possibilities.